Hey gang, welcome to another episode of Wisdom Wednesday from here in beautiful Austin, Texas. Uh, I'm Mark Sweeney, the owner and chief dentist at Austin Dental Spa, and uh, that's where we're filming from. Uh, if this is your first Wisdom Wednesday, we have a little fun with uh, scientific topics from around the world. and. Um, I, we always have a theme for every month, the month of April. It is spring into spring, and that's about as high as I can jump now. Um, uh, but uh, anyway, we're going to have some, a fun topic today. We're going to be talking about polyphenols, which are found in multiple, mostly uh, bright colored vegetables or uh, pigmented vegetables and fruits, um, raspberries, blueberries, that kind of stuff. But um, also found in red wine because why red wine is made from grapes and um, red wine is much more uh, polyphenol rich than uh, white wine so sorry about you white wine drinkers out there including me and uh, hey Jenny thought you'd like this one this topic um, because it's about red wines and that's your favorite um, so before we get to the red wine stuff, I wanted to point out that uh, starting last Friday, uh, the American Statesman, the local newspaper here at statesman.com, has their annual contest for best of, everything from the best breakfast taco to the best place for brunch to the best seafood restaurant uh, to the best chiropractor to the best cosmetic surgeon. And they also have two categories for dentists, cosmetic dentist and best dentist. Last year, 2021, we won Best Dentist. The year 2020, we won Best Cosmetic Dentist and Best Dentist. Uh, so you can go online and vote for about two weeks now, uh, maybe 10 days till middle of next week. Every day, you can, you can put in your votes in all these categories. There's probably 150 different categories. You don't have to go through and vote on every one of them, especially if you don't live here in Austin. But you can vote even if you don't live here in Austin. And so please go online, vote for us. Uh, they'll narrow it from just the general population down to five in each category. And then they'll do the round of uh, the, the winner's circle, they call it, uh, narrowing from those five down, down to the single winner uh, in each one of the categories. And we would love to have your vote. Uh, for cosmetic dentists and best dentists, they're in two different parts of the of the voting, but it kind of guides you right through. You give them your email address, and it and it walks you right through it. Statesman.com, uh, best of, and you you'll find it pretty easily. So let's get back to the wine, because <laughs> um, we're springing into spring, and um, so research has shown that these polyphenols, they're compounds that are found in these vegetables, and we're specifically gonna talk about, poly, about red wine polyphenols. Um, they are powerful antioxidants. We've known about that. What is an antioxidant? Well, the damage in our skin and in our bodies as we age is caused by what they call free radicals. These are atoms that are released in your body that are uncharged or negatively charged, and they're unstable. They typically don't last long, but if there's a lot of free radicals from sun damage, from aging, from disease states, um, they're, they're, these free radicals are, are set free in your body, and the polyphenols and the antioxidants, there are multiple types of antioxidants, they neutralize those free radicals so they can't cause damage because they'll cause uh, blood clots, they'll cause uh, the, the plaque that builds up in your, in your uh, cells, um, in, in, your, in your cardiovascular system that cause blockage to your heart. So you may have heard for many years now, it's been out that a, a glass of wet red wine a night will help with your heart and also help with uh, reducing inflammation. Uh, why is that? It's because of these polyphenols that are in the red wine, much more so than in white wine. Um, the key is moderation. Uh, they, they claim you should take one glass of red wine. They don't say how many ounces. <laughs> so that's a variable that you can supply. But they say sip it slowly over an evening's period and that that gives you the most benefit. Uh, from from the the polyphenols, but they actually have been shown to 
create antioxidant properties, anti-inflammation properties in your gut lining, which we've talked about on Wisdom Wednesday before, and in your heart because of the clotting uh, mechanism or anti-clotting mechanism. And uh, they've even done some research showing that it might help with diseases like Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's. Um, so all these aging diseases. Um, so um, we're gonna talk about, there, there's two main polyphenols that are in red wine, um, caffeic and p cumeric acids. Um, so that's not really essential part of the part of this, but they did studies recently to find that these two polyphenols that are in red wine actually keep the bacteria in your mouth from attacking the 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 cells that line your gum to your your gums that where they lay up against the teeth. They don't really affect the teeth as much, but they are doing research that shows that it might decrease the stickiness factor so that uh, plaque can't form on your teeth as well and cause the bacteria that sticks into the plaque and the food particles, the bacteria eat the food particles because they're all stuck to the side of the tooth. If it accumulates enough, it could cause decay. Um, and it definitely causes gum disease. So they found that the anti-inflammatory uh, capacity of the polyphenols plus the uh, ability to keep the plaque from being so sticky both affected the gum tissue and uh, therefore potentially gum disease in a positive way. So you can have your glass of red wine and just tell anybody who complains about it that you're actually getting healthier. Um, so if you don't want to drink wine, um, which is probably true for some people, or if you don't particularly like red wine, um, you can go to black or green teas, uh, cider, coffee, citrus juices like orange and lemon juice have uh, polyphenols, and as I said, blueberries, cherries, raspberries also, and even beans ha are loaded with polyphenols. So these will all affect your oral health in a positive way, as long as it's done in moderation. Now, if you drink too much red wine, you can end up getting staining. That can be removed during a dental cleaning. Um, we do it all the time. They, you also can do teeth whitening that'll give you your nice bright smile back again. So um, the research says that how do you avoid that staining? They say wait 30 minutes after you've finished your glass of wine before you brush your teeth. And that way they have a chance to affect the bacteria negatively and make you healthier. So we always do a health tip. My health tip for the week is include fresh fruits and with the blue or red pigments, the blueberries, the raspberries, uh, in your daily diet because these highly pigmented fresh fruits and veggies are high in an antioxidants and the polyphenols like we talked about. Um, red wine in moderation. That's a key point. So that's it for Wisdom Wednesday. I hope you had a great one and uh, a great week. And we will see you next week for another version of Wisdom Wednesday.